Hello, everybody. Andrew Mayeski here with Dental L. So who wants to see my intraoral camera in action? If you've been on the market for an intraoral camera, we all know that they can literally be like $200 versus like $4,000. Insane. You would think the more expensive one, the better, because that is the case for a lot of things, right? You don't want to buy something cheap in dentistry and then it falls apart the next day. I found an intraoral camera on Amazon that, shoot, I think it was about two or $300 max. Um, I bought it about a year ago, so I can't think of the price exactly, but I'll leave the link for you guys on the bottom. It's awesome. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It, it takes good quality pictures. I'm going to prove that on or in my mouth, okay? Sorry for my weird teeth. I need a cleaning, but anyways, it's been about six months since my last cleaning, so I have to book that. But um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how it works. I have my laptop here. I took actually some test images already. Whoops, sorry guys, let me unplug my laptop because the cord is kind of stuck. There we go. So guys, I have my laptop here. I'm going to take the pictures first and then I'm gonna show you guys, okay? So it's super easy, you just turn it on. See the light there? And then I'm just looking on my laptop because it's easier to see it here and then I'm gonna show you guys. Because what it does is it comes up with this little screen. There we go. And then actually, I wonder if I can do it here and show you guys. The screen's kind of tiny, but that's okay. I'll show you guys afterwards, okay? So here we go. Hmm. I can check you guys. Okay, cool. Look at this. You can tell I need a cleaning. I see that tartar there. That's embarrassing. I have food stuck in my teeth. Anyway, oh well. Hopefully, there's dental hygienists and dental assistants um, assistants watching this, so you don't mind. I'll take a few more, you guys. I'm just having so much fun. <laughs> See, guys, easy, right? Okay, let me just put this down. And let me just take off this barrier here. There we go. If you're wondering why this is brown, it's because I had gotten silver diamine fluoride on it. I just have to really wipe. It's, it, it has been wiped. It has been disinfected, but I need to like scrub it with something. Yeah. Be careful with your silver diamine fluoride. I did a video on that too, on how to properly dispose of your silver diamine fluoride. Take off your gloves. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I'm going to blow this up. So I apologize for the food here. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Um, but look, you guys, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell with the webcam. But aren't these good quality photos? Sorry for the food there. But hey, whatever, right? But you guys, like, look at this. So you don't have to worry of, oh, okay, so it's, so it's only like 300 bucks for this camera versus 4000 um, is it going to take good quality photos? Yes. So I'm going to leave you, as I'm dropping everything, I'm going to leave you guys the link um, on the bottom of this video. Um, so, you, so you can see the exact one that I had used, because as you can see, it has amazing pictures. You don't have to spend $4,000. And I say that because when I was purchasing, when I first started my business, I was buying, of course, my Statum sterilizer, my spore tester, my incubator like all kinds of things right money 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 i said to the company no names mentioned i said how much is your is your intraoral camera i would love to get one but i'm on a budget and they kind of said well our cheapest one is two thousand you would probably want this one it's four thousand so it's probably not in your budget and i kind of said what i would have thought two hundred dollars maybe three hundred dollars max he's kind of like no they're a lot more than that but this the thing is is when I used to work in dental offices, the intraoral cameras that I saw, they would work half the time, half the time they wouldn't work. It was so hard to get them to focus. With this one, it's literally turn on, take the picture, done. You don't have to move something to make sure it's perfectly focused. You don't have to move a knob on the side and then click the button. It's very, very easy, so that I love. And for $300 max, you guys, it's totally worth it. Invest in an intraoral camera because when you show your patients that recurrent decay around the 3-6 amalgam 
or show them why that tooth needs a crown because it's an MODBL, they can see it and they can go, whoa. I love taking before and after photos of a cleaning. I love taking a photo if I'm cleaning the mouth and there's the, the gums are bleeding like crazy. I take a picture of that and then I show them afterwards and say, this is why I'm recommending you come every three months because look at all of the bleeding. You can tell them they have bleeding, but when you show them a picture, they go, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. That's my mouth. I go, oh no, no problem. This is easy. You know, this is what I do all day long, but this is why I'm suggesting three month cleanings, even though you just told me you're probably not covered for it. This is why we want the gums to not bleed anywhere. Show them a picture and they go, oh my gosh, wow, that makes sense. So a little tip for you guys. I hope you like this video. Please click like if you enjoy watching me because I'm apparently almost at 10,000 subscribers. That's so much fun. Please click like. Make sure to click subscribe so then you can watch some more videos. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.